Shield generator critical. Fuck. Me. Where was the fucking air support at? Huh? This wasn't the only battle, you know? They had half the day to stop by us. They could have at least come over here once to bomb their Sunday. Just one fucking time. Fighting towards a major Vanu staging point, like an amp station, takes priority any day. You know that. If we had to lose a facility, at least it was around here, somewhere where resources weren't that abundant. The air was elsewhere, yes, but with good tactical reason. With good tactical reason, my ass. Hey, quit whining. Just be thankful you are at least given a max today. I don't think you can really complain if you were hauled up inside that suit the entire time. Yeah, try getting shelled in the face three times, you dipshit. Hey! That was your own fault! I say get behind me, but nope, mister, I am too much for Maxis, thinks I'm too- Oh, okay, fine, just run off on me again, huh? <sighs> I need some fresh air. But we're on Ezimir. Blizzard Air Central. The kind of fresh air that doesn't involve you farting around. How many times have I heard that kind of conversation? The libs weren't there, no armor was backing us, we didn't have the numbers. Long come to realize that, for every count of victory we achieve, they've seemingly been matched by the same number of defeats. It might take time, but things will always continue to flex back and forth, no matter what. Though, I think the flexing has been happening more often for the past 30 years or so. Territories seem to be jumping back and forth quicker than I remember. We lost some territory today, so I guess if I'm right, we'll probably get it back pretty soon. Probably in about the same time it took to take it all in the first place. Which we'll probably just lose all over again. Losing to the spawn tubes. still a pain as usual. Dying, that is. There were rumors going around with some of the heavier infantry divisions that some of the soldiers had stopped feeling pain upon death. <laughs> Psych talk at best. The medics were having none of it.
I guess that does go to show how strong our will remains for our... freedom. Even after a whole century of war gone by, we're still here. Yeah. A century gone by, but the same stupid conversations. And another war log for the road that I'll look back on, just to see how I've changed over the years. There is certainly a lot to look back on, a lot of my experiences to remember from all 136 years of my life. Although, for the record, for once, even after all that, I think I still have something to look forward to again. We'll see. Hi, Claire. It's been way too long, Aiden. Pity. We keep coming here every few months. But it's always frozen. Even if it wasn't, were you planning on swimming? Nah. I was thinking more along the lines of fishing. Fishing? Yeah. Catching fish. Though, mind you, I don't think fishing rods are exactly in stock. 
Why do I feel as though I should know what you're talking about? It sounds familiar. Hmm. I think I'm lucky to remember any of that. It was when my father was still around. I remember how he used to do that kind of thing on Amorish. All I really remember was how bad things were getting between the TR and the NC. Those citywide riots back while we still had cities. Then came that stupid desert incident that finally snapped everyone. In the Core Desert, wasn't it? Or was it the Cane Desert? I don't know. Whichever. Been having a few hard days lately, haven't you? Judging by your jet exhausts? What about my jetpack? They are full of soot. They look like they haven't been cleaned for days. Weeks, actually. I was assigned to kill you guys for a little while. A lot of jumping between the roofs, which was pretty difficult considering the amount of ice that was up top after the last blizzard. I think I was slipping around more than I was dodging. Still, I guess it makes a change from having to dodge all your close quarter squads that were holding up the place. Well, aren't I honored to have received all of your attention. Were you fighting us? Yep. At a distance. Was mostly a sign to keep my butt up on a hill. By yourself? Nah, I had a sniper team. Any of them pretty girls? Pretty girls? Oh, you know. Just so I know who to have my sights on next time. <laughs> <laughs> it does suck to be in this chill for so long. But at least you have aerodynamic curves going for you, right? <laughs> yeah, Captain Tight Pants. Better than spandex any day. <laughs> Does the Republic, by any chance, give you people heat packs for the cold? Nope. Do you get heat packs? Nah, just thought it would be a good idea. I get the notion those things only existed from before the war, back when we had civilian sectors. Yeah, I... I guess so. Damn, that is depressing, to forget something as simple as that. How much do you think we've actually forgotten? It must be because of the spawn tubes. Those things have been messing with our heads for a long time. Yeah. Forgetting things, I guess, has long been the price to pay for immortality. What about... food? I don't suppose you remember any foods that beat being nanite-fed. Don't know. Coffee? That's a drink, isn't it? Oh, wasn't there a biolab a while back that grew something you could actually eat? I don't remember the place, but I swear I know what the food was called. Um... That's from when we first met. What? You were back in the city. You helped me off the streets from the riots. Remember? I... I let you stay at my apartment. For weeks. Months, even. I couldn't leave to head back through those streets again because it was that bad. We had food and drinks together. Coffee. Was that it? Yeah. And then we... 
Uh, well, you know. <laughs> you know what? Is that early frostbite? Or are you just blushing? Guess, you handsome genius. Oh. Yeah. I... forgot. Ah, fuck these spawn tubes! How dare you make me forget something as beautiful as that! <laughs> Aiden, stop. <laughs> Oh, come on. Who else would be out here? Me? <laughs> Seriously, though, now I really wish we could meet more often. Checking the shack once every month for one hour in the hopes that us both being away from the front lines at the exact same time of day. I know. It's only been six times in almost two years. What do you think the chances were of us ever actually meeting in the first place? Echo 8 here. I have two TR light assaults camping the roofs. Someone help sweep them off. They have me pinned in the west corner. No way. I can't see much from here. There were three TR soldiers on foot total last I checked. Why do I know that voice and face? That name? Claire! Claire. That's your name, isn't it? How the fuck do you know? I'm not sure. My name is Aiden. Do you remember me? No, but I remember a dead. Aiden. Wait, hang on! I don't know how I remember your name. I just know. Somehow. I can't explain it, but it feels... <laughs> Nutcase. Like the rest of you Terrans. Claire... Shut the fuck up. My name is not yours to use. Interesting. What? You're still listening. I'm not dead yet. Well, I can gladly oblige. East River Sky Station. The shack at the end of the river. Try and find me there. Wait there for an hour at noon. And then come back. Once. Every month. From this day onwards. Why? Because of the fact that we're even talking to each other. Neither of us could have redeployed or killed the other by now. I guess us being here, right now, must mean something, right? See you there in the next life. I only had a familiar name, face, and voice to go on. 
and I trusted it because I was so tired. I'm sorry I shot you. Don't be. Besides, you're the one who still listened. And here we are. <sighs> it's good to be human again. What is it they say? Freedom comes in many forms? Hmm. Hang on. How long have we been here? Almost two hours, I think. Want to stick around longer? Yeah. Best not. Aw, why not? Isn't it obvious? Someone still has to be the almighty Terran Republic that enforces order and peace in the magical lands of Esamir. How would the glorious Republic survive without me? Oh, well aren't you so buff and manly to fill those red tights? Do you quarrel, madam? Isn't it obvious? I brought a gun, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Wait, what? Shh, quiet. You hear that? like your folks. Charlie 8, Claire, are you in there? Shit, they must have seen my implant signal. Do you have an excuse for being out here? No, not really, no. Damn, they couldn't have picked another road. Claire, hello? Your radio better not be off. Don't answer that. You have a better idea? How about redeploy options? Disobeying a simple radio instruction by redeploying seems too sus. They're gonna come in soon. And we'll be ready for them. What? For shooting my own? No, that's not what I'm thinking. Okay. What then? Follow my lead. Why is she all the way out here? Something must be up, if she isn't answering a radio. Claire, do you read me? Ah! Ah! Get off! Claire? Wait, I can see her tag moving. She's coming out! Nobody move! Nobody aim! Or else this bitch gets one through the skull! Damn it! What have you done with her? Guys, I... I didn't see him. Tell them I knocked you out. I... I... was hit from behind. Bastard snuck up on me and knocked me out. Yes! Yes, I did! And you like neck pinches, don't you? Don't you! Ah! Yes! Yes! God damn it, stop! Damn it! She can't redeploy like that. Too much pain must be blocking her implants. We have to get a position by the shack. We're useless back here. If the other two near the shack can get in position, maybe. Oh, nice acting. You too.
Okay. I saw two other guys jump out. They must be near the shack trying to get closer. My cloaking is charged back up, so... When they get close enough... When they hit the claymore... I'll run. Alright? I love you, Ethan. I love you too, Claire. Stay strong. They're almost in. If we can distract them- He's escaping! Light that fucker up! Claire, get out of there! Move! Fucking hell. You okay? Forget about me. There's a man down there. I wish they did just forget and leave. This is Corporate Officer 3rd Class Claire Hollins. Signing off. Substation hasn't responded at all. That's why we're up here. Our Sunderer's radar couldn't pick up anything. Our squad has arrived at substation to render assistance. Doesn't look like this place has been touched at all, though. Where the hell would they go? Alright, get this ship together. We gotta go. <laughs> Fuck! Okay, okay, what happened? I don't know! What? I saw them! Guys, they're just... getting loud! Oh shit! <laughs>
the shit. Echo 8 to Echo 1. I've... You copy? What? Nathan? Yeah, you heard goddamn right. Stand up and turn around. Slowly. Throw your weapons away. Alright. Start talking. You won't get much from me. I only just got here. <laughs> 